back to Healthy with Nicole. In this video, I'm gonna talk about how the antibacterial things that you may be cleaning your hands with could be damaging your gut. And in a time like this, I know that there's so many people that are wanting to detoxify and kill germs and you know protect their health. But one thing that you should know about some of these hand sanitizers is the chemicals that are in there. And there's some other chemicals you need to know about that are definitely no-nos for people with gut damage. So first one is gonna be about this hand sanitizing. I see so many people using the hand sanitizers, you know, after shopping or going to stores. Um, it is excessive and it does actually uh, cause, first of all, it's toxic, but it actually interferes with the natural microbiome of just like in your gut, which on your hands. So we have naturally occurring beneficial bacteria on our skin and using antibacterial agents um, is not only toxic, but it disrupts that. So let's talk about the main ingredient in these hand sanitizers and why you need to know about them. Uh, it's called triclosan, and it's in about over 2,000 different products that people use every day, such as toothpaste, mouthwash, lotion, skincare, hand sanitizers, all kinds of things. Um, and it's been found in about 75% of the urine tests sampled. So it's pervasive in our environment because so many people use it, and it is going into your bloodstream and obviously into your out your urine. So um, it's something you want to avoid because it is very toxic. It can increase inflammation in the body, but also specifically in the gut. Um, there has been some great research, which I will share with you about the um, specifically triclosan triggering ulcerative colitis and worsening it for people that have it. Uh, so you definitely need to know about that. If you're someone that's concerned and you're worried that your own immune system is not going to be enough, then feel free to make a non-toxic hand sanitizer. So this is something we use around the house. Um, you could easily put it in your car and it's just a little bit of uh, water, Castile soap, and then a few drops of essential oils. They are great for killing bacteria, non-toxic to your body, very safe for you to use. Um, so, you know, any essential oils that you really love, I happen to like doTERRA's um, Green Mandarin and this one is On Guard, but you can use pretty much any essential oil that you like. Um, and again, you know, different size bottle if you wanna put it in your purse and um, just a little spraying after is great. Um, also, just washing your hands with soap and water, old school, is a great way to just to kill bacteria on your hands. Um, just use it in nice hot water, wash for 30 seconds or seeing your ABCs and you're good to go. Um, so no need to use these toxic hand sanitizers. They're very unhealthy for your body. All right, let's talk about some other things that are uh, toxic for your body. One of them is glyphosate. So you may have seen this uh, uh, name before. It's associated with your food because it comes directly from the Monsanto seed that grows a lot of produce. Um, glyphosate is used in some of these seeds to keep pests um, away from the growing food. And the reason why we are concerned about it is because it has been um, shown linked specifically to digestive disorders. Um, so this is something I'm gonna share the research that I found about it and how it's specifically targeting inflammatory bowel diseases. So I think everybody should avoid glyphosate, but especially if you are compromised in your gut, you definitely want to avoid that. So how do you do it? That's really hard because it is pervasive in our food. Well, again, it goes back to eating, you know, more meat-based diet, um, animal product-based diet, grown organically, grass-fed, and also fruit. Fruit is much less likely, um, you know, if you can get it organic, better yet, but much less likely to carry that glyphosate. So one other um, food ingredient I'll mention today, and there's more, and I'm gonna put out a full list on my newsletter, so make sure you sign up for that. Um, but there's a common food ingredient that is very problematic. And I'm gonna share my personal experience with this too. It's called carrageenan. So this is a thickener that's often used in soups, yogurts, um, nut milks or almond milk and things like that, which was the culprit for me. Definitely irritated my gut. Um, you'll find it in ice creams and a number of different things. So read your labels, but carrageenan is another 
directly linked to um, inflammatory bowel disease. So definitely uh, eliminate that from your diet and avoid it at all costs. It is very bad for that sensitive gut. So they, these are a few that we start with um, that are sort of the most prominent I see all the time. Um, but of course we wanna be weary and leery of all the different chemicals out there. So for more information on this, you can go to my website at healthywithnicole.com and sign up for my newsletter and I will be sending out weekly emails with all of this information in greater detail so that you can read all of it and the research that goes along with it. Um, so don't forget to check that out. There'll be a link below where you can check out my gut healing program as well as my Instagram account, which is Healthy with Nicole. And I think that's it. So if you like that video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.